You're going to burn. Like, You're going to burn, boy. Uh, this is what praying medic always does. The big Q uh, Christian con artist that says he has dreams and prophecies that Q and, and Trump are going to save us from the deep sp deep state. He says, right. there is no reason to panic just because a handful of globalist shills have announced their intent to starve us to death and destroy our economies. For the last four months, I've been teaching how to operate in the miraculous, how to heal the sick, how to multiply food, and how to have faith for other miracles. Every day we read testimonies from people who have learned to live as heirs of the supernatural kingdom. Why do you think I began to teach these things? I did it because I expected Joe Biden and his handlers to make good on their progress to give us a dark winter. As corrupt globalists try to enslave us, God will bring hammer of justice down on their heads. As they try to starve us, we'll multiply the food. When fuel can't be purchased, we'll pray over our cars and they'll run for days on empty gas tanks. It's almost like insulting in depressing that people can say such ridiculous things and look this has 5.8 thousand views on telegram that's more than my telegrams get a guy that's telling you just pray in your empty gas tanks and your cars will drive I, I like to see the multiplying food trick that sounds pretty nifty i know yeah yeah funny god didn't pull that one up uh, out of his sleeve with all the people that have starved throughout history and all the yeah, animals the that have thing. starved for billions of years. Right, but they don't know Jesus, Adam, so he's letting them die of a painful st death of starvation. That, you know that's one of the most painful ways to die? Starvation? Yeah. Hmm. You think starvation or being burned alive? What would be worse? <laughs> well, burned alive, you're going to, you're gonna, you know, it'll take a what a... a 30 seconds, 40 seconds, starvation is a ang anguishing, slow fucking process. Mm -hmm. uh, the Baron says, if Adam gets, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, it, the Baron says, if Adam gets dank bloke back on, maybe just let him do a presentation and questions after. Uh, he, you you want to watch his presentations, go to his YouTube channel and, and watch exactly. his presentations. When I have an hour with the guy, I'm going to be asking him questions that I want to ask. Right. And discussing right. what I want to discuss. Platform, it's not, you know, it's something that you just surrender to somebody to do their PowerPoint. That's not how. It's not how it works. Yeah. Uh, I am Amalek says no. Owen Benjamin talked about how Christian songs sexualize him. Oh wow! It would be interesting to talk to Owen Benjamin. Uh, I am Amalek says Alex Jones talked about his dreams in such a way. Of course he does. He's a yeah, he's a total huckster. Right, <laughs> right, because Alex Jones is a trustworthy individual, right? <laughs> All right, here's here's a crazy one now. This one's real crazy. A demon came with a demon came with his penis and put it in my mouth, and and then he tried. He came again and he slept with me last week, and I, I told the, the pastor that I need deliverance again. And since then, my private part has been itching. It's been itching. Yes. Get to look at demon. Look, look, oral sex, oral sex demon. You see oral sex? Look, oral sex. Look, 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 look. Oral sex demon. <laughs> She says she's awesome. been a demon's visiting her and having sex with her. Right. This is, I mean, come on. This is totally believable. You, you don't buy this, Adam? It's, it, it makes me sad for black people. The fact that they went from slaves to adopting the slave master's religion that justified their enslavement. It's, uh, they're all under the spell as well, all over the world, all, all of, uh, you know, Mexico and Latin America as well. You know, and, and then there's these these white white uh, Christians that are like, oh, it's a white religion, and you're attacking white people if you attack Christianity. And it's where just, did you find this oral sex demon, Adam? Uh, s somebody shared this one uh, with me on Twitter. Wow, oral sex demon. You you oral sex you oral sex. Let that sperm of that man out 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 you demon out. Demon in the private part. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Oh, he's, he's spraying something, spraying the holy water on her crotch. Come out from the private. Come out from the private. Come out. Go, 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 go. 
<laughs> the pop on the head. Oh my gosh. Dude. Yeah. The, she needs a padded cell. Yeah, demon. Here's another one. Oh, did you destroy his... Who are you? What Who are you? And you know, Christians want to go, oh, these guys are crazy and stuff. Well, you believe that what Jesus cast out uh, demons out of some pig, out of some people into some pigs? You believe in yeah. demons possessing people like this? So yeah, they believe, they believe in possession. Absolutely. The Catholic Church did exorcisms. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? In Jesus' name, answer. You are a giant man. I'm his ancestor. You are his ancestors. So many How did you enter him? When he was a baby. When he was a baby. What have you done to him? Destroyed his life. How did you destroy his life? Speak up. How did you destroy his life? I destroyed his career. Destroy his destroyed? marriage? How did you destroy his marriage? I caused confusion. How did you destroy I his marriage? What else did you do to his marriage? Who are you? What Who are you? Oh, Who are you? He used the magic spray too. Jesus Christ can set you free. To think that there's so many, so many crazy people all over the world that are just engaging in this type of behavior. Yeah. Yeah, this, you know, that's, come on, you don't believe, you don't accept this. This looks pretty, pretty authentic. He seems pretty sincere to me. Religion makes people do and believe such ridiculous things. It's like they, they su suspended disbelief. They just lose all critical thinking faculties completely. Oh, do you believe that the Lord tonight has set you free? Yes, sir. Turn around and tell those people. Tell them. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like no. men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said yeah, women. <laughs> You're not buying it? No, no. He don't it's, like women. He's, he's still he's still gay. This is this has been Milo's little shtick for the last uh year or so, right? I'm not gay. I would not date a man. I would not tear a purse. I would not put on makeup. I will. I will love a woman. A woman. Now li listen. Y'all please God with him. Yo. That Yo, pastor there is probably like multi-millionaire. What? What? Yo, he channeling some Holy Ghost power right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is this is what uh, this is what anybody with half a brain would do if you're raised in a church like this or any of these churches. Hang on, that's your I'm tired of this church. Oh, oh hang on, that's your Yeah, I love it. You go, boy. You go, boy. I'm tired yeah. of this church. I'm tired of this church. Oh, hang on, that's your stuff. Stop forcing me to go. They tell him, you're going to burn. You want to burn? You, you better come to this church or you're going to burn, boy. Right. Right. <laughs> the Russian KGB approved patriarch says Orthodox faithful are holding back the Antichrist. Everybody's always fighting the ant They can justify all sides justify what they do by saying the other side is the Antichrist. God is on our side, says everybody. Uh, oh, you were with me the other day, Al, when we did the baptism, right? We showed the baptism of the, the Greek uh, Orthodox priest that was flinging the baby like crazy. I found this one. This one's so disturbing. And, and this really actually has nothing to do with, like, this could happen to anybody giving a baby a bath. It's a tragedy, but... It's just, it goes to show these circumcision uh, mishaps that happen. Jeez. He was circumcised? I called it a circumcision. I meant baptism. <clears throat> oh, okay. I was going to say, because that's... Uh... 
Yeah. Just terrible. Just a, terrible. A, a, a priest that has no children of his own, never held a baby, and you hand him over. It, it, this is very symbolic for what pre, the way priests have been raping children for thousands of years. Right. It's a, it's a grooming operation for pedophiles. When you That's hand, what the you, yeah, the, your the your kids are not in good hands with these uh, pedophile priests, right? And the Catholics out there that want to take offense, go ahead. I don't give a shit. You guys, you, right. you're so delusional that you actually. Oh, it's just some priests. How many? How many? Do you have the metrics on how many priests rape children? How many victims of of this there are out there throughout history? They have no idea, Adam. Millions of victims. Tens of millions over the over the course of the last several thousand years. It's a, it's a position that groomers and pedophiles will gravitate to, and the position and the celibacy and the guilt and the sexual um, <laughs> repression. I think all it it uh, all makes it manifest, and it happens, of course, in the ultra orthodox communities as well. Very widespread. And these are supposed to be people of God, like that are, you know, the moral ones. And then this is so pervasive and prevalent. And it's just like, you're a joke. Give me a break. Yeah. This is God's church allowing kids to get raped and cover it up and stuff for decades. And this is, we're supposed to look at you like you've got some type of special godly morals. It's ridiculous. Two billion Christians, which are idol worshippers, between Chinese, Indian, Hindus, Buddhists, and Christian, at least six, six and a half billion people are idol worshippers that according to the Torah do not have the right to live. Idol worshipper goy, it's death penalty. Not only Jews. Even a goy who bow down to an idol who, be who believe in JC deserve death penalty. Death penalty. This, this is, these are your regards of virtue you that want to lecture you on human rights, mm -hmm. espousing and promoting genocidal I mean, male fucking like intent, Peter and, intentions. And Andrew can't stand it, but she... Sorry. Talmud states they're Jews because they reject idol worship. Idol worship is anything foreign to the Jewish people. So any, <laughs> you're an idol worshiper if you're not a Jew, basically. And here's a, here's a Rabbi Reuven. You do a good they're impression worship, of this. You don't worship the God of Israel. Yeah. yeah. Dos Baruch Hu is telling you, you have to make a choice. Either you're 100% with a Kadosh Baruch Hu, or you're with the rest of the garbage of the world. Right now we have almost 8 billion people in the world. 99.999% of them are Hashayim Gmurim. Hashayim Goyim. Christians, almost 2.5 billion of them, all idolaters. What do you think? A Kadosh Baruch Hu thinks they're Tzadikim? I respect you, respect me. doesn't have to respect you. Huh? doesn't have to respect you. That is the right thing. Are you Jewish? Do you want to honor God? That is the godly thing to do. We respect one another. The godly thing to do is to kill you. The godly thing is to kill me. That's right. That's what the Torah says. The Torah says to kill us. The Torah says that idol, uh, people who worship idols such as yourself, when there is a Sanhedrin, to kill us. Yes. Okay. That's what the Torah says. So we know how the Jewish people feel about Christians, yes? That you Christians discriminate are, against Christians. Christians are idol worshippers. You discriminate the against Torah Christians. The Torah says that Christianity is idol worship. Let me ask you. You worship three let gods. Let me ask. You worship three gods. Uh, uh, all right, Al. A couple more stories here. We'll get you out of here within 20 minutes. I know it's later there. Why are the nations, why are the Guim? The idol worshippers. Why are they mezoamim? What's mezoamim? Mezoamim means they're impure. Their natural state is being impure. A goy's natural state is impurity. What does impurity mean? Impurity means that if you had real glasses that were going to be able to tell you all of the things that are really next to you, your world will be very different than your world right now. Right now you see each other, you see me. That's all you see. But the real world is very different than what we see. And the reason why we don't see it is because if we really saw all of the Shadim and the, 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 the angels, the good ones, the bad ones, the, the, and so on, that are really next to us, we'd lose our mind. 
But the goyim, they have a certain level of tum'ah that is constantly next to them. Constantly next to them. Constantly inside them. Does that make them bad people? Not always. Not always. Sometimes. But it's always the case. Why is it always the case? The Gemara asks. Why? Why do they have this mezuami? Why are we racist why do we, now? Why do we have these we have demons? nothing else to do in the world to be racist against goyim. There's 8 billion of them. Find a different hobby. Pick on somebody your own size. So the Gemara continues. He says, Shalom amdu al sinai Pick on somebody your own size, Al. What, the goyim what, what are... do you think? What? I said, what do you think? Chadosh Mechul is Sartachim? Say it again. <laughs> what do you what do you think? Chadosh Mechul is Sartachim? The impure der, uh, goyim. Tell us about Kadosh Bahu. Well, you're either 100% with Chadosh Bahu or you're with the 99.999% of the world, which is which is garbage, filth. Garbage, filth. The shine goyim. The Torah says to kill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. These guys. Asking what's going to be ah, with the Goyim. Asshole. Here, remember this one too? They really kill. Mashiach comes. Asking what's going to be with the Goyim when Mashiach comes. Will they be destroyed and annihilated? Who cares? Who cares? Someone asked who cares. <laughs> okay. As a nation, they'll cease to exist, even as individuals. Every individual, no survivors. Not only as a nation they'll cease to exist, even as individuals. As goyim, they're gone. See, it's it's uh, hateful to be against this religion, Al. Right. You're obviously a bigot if you oppose this. Yeah. You should want to be annihilated yeah. and genocided. Enslaved and genocided or you're, a, you're right. a, a, a Nazi. Yeah. If you don't accept this, you're Hitler, mm-hmm. goy. Their personality, their, 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 as they exist, as they would exist independently of Klai Yisrael, they don't exist. They're done. In modern terminology, in modern terminology, they call it cultural genocide. <laughs> There's a term for it in the, by the, by the, you know, by the progressives. Cultural genocide. So cultural genocide. The destruction of Edom. The genocide. So that's the, the opinion who says the Karka Kobane says that they'll be annihilated of Islantazai, they basically learn there's gonna be cultural genocide. That you know what, the Goyim's the Goyim as they exist as Goyim Bifleatsmam, that's done with. Bottle Mavoto. Chat says I'm starting to warm up to these rabbis. Semitism. <laughs> However, yeah. I Everybody acknowledges that Jewish chosenness is a reason for anti-Semitism. However, as I've pointed out, Jews are a two-tenths of one percent of the world. Who gives a damn if two-tenths of one percent of the world thinks they're chosen? The- it's not just that the Jews think that they're chosen. Us. It's all the, the, the millions of Christians that believe that you're chosen is the real power. Right. That's the problem. Right. That's the problem. The Chinese think they're the center of the world. Middle- well, chosen, chosen and successful might be ah, very... Thank you. That's correct. That's exactly right. So deep down, people don't laugh when Jews say they're chosen. They don't believe that Japan gets the sun before the rest of humanity, even though they are the land of the rising sun, and as the sun is on their flag. Oh, oh, they, they're the land oh, of the rising that. sun. They're just as bad. They're bad just like us, as if right. it's the same thing. Right. Japanese call themselves the land of the rising sun is the same thing as being chosen by God, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Having the sun rise uh, on your island is the, exactly the same as being chosen to be above all the other nations. And to, yeah, uh, how dare there be that east, east, uh, the most eastern country that gets the sun first claim that they do that. <laughs> Shmuley Boteak tried to use this same line, too. It's like, oh, all, everybody's... All cultures are, you know, supremacists like us, like in a way. But nobody cares if the Japanese think they get the sun first. But they do care if the Jews think they're chosen. So there, there's been a tremendous amount of resentment. Like that, like that's, that, that's the equivocation he's making. It's right, right. Absurd. False equivalency. Fact that maybe they are. But, of course, chosen never meant better. Never. Oh, sure, sure. Right. Sure. Right. That's why these rabbis right. say it's, you should be very happy to be a Jew. You should say thank you and, and bow before me. Yes. It says in fame and ascendancy above the nations is what it says. Okay, Chabad.org. This is out uh, on the 4th. Rabbi Mendy Greenberg. There he is. 
the youngest Chabad rabbi from Alaska to ever open Congress with a prayer, allowing these Jewish supremacists to come in and pray and, and pitch their Noahide laws and praise the Rebbe. 